Just had a consult today with a family, um, mom, their mom who recently passed away was my client from several years ago. And I'm sorry to hear that she had passed away. So I'm talking to the daughter and she's uh, asking for advice on estate administration. So she says, well, you know, we don't know what to do with the house. Uh, mom made us all promise her on her deathbed that we were never going to sell the house. And I said, did mom live in like a really cool place like at the beach in a really nice condo or, or somewhere where the family actually wants to go and spend time now that mom's not there? And she said, no, just a regular house and quite honestly, a not so great area of town. It used to be a good area, but it's, it's gotten not so great in the last couple of decades. And so now we don't know what to do. We want to honor our mom's wishes, but what the hell are we going to do with the house? No, none of the kids need a house. None of us want to go live there anyway, even if we needed a house. We don't want to be landlords because it's a not great area of town and we're going to have pain in the ass tenants. They're going to cause problems and probably tear up the place. And we don't really want to pay taxes, maintenance, insurance, and everything else for the rest of our lives. Only to do what? Leave it to our kids who don't want it either? So if you are of the mindset that you don't want your kids to sell your house, uh, think about that. Think through the dynamics. Think through the guilt or whatever that they're going to be left with. If you take the position that you are making them promise you on your deathbed that they're never going to sell your house. It's just like your china and your silverware. They probably don't want it. They'd rather have the cash. They don't need the headaches. Who's going to go mow the grass? It's just a nightmare. So if you have a great property, uh, you know, I've seen lake properties and beach properties where all the kids grew up and spent their summers. And yeah, the family can keep it there for family vacations and family reunions and stuff like that. But it's just a regular house in a regular neighborhood. Your kids aren't as attached to it as you are and as not as attached to it as you want them to be. So think through the dynamics before you make your kids promise stupid shit that they probably don't want to uphold that promise, but then they feel guilty if they don't. Have a great day.